Midnight Music Mix. Music to me is uh is is that is everything like you know music is it, it, it has it has an expression you know without you having to say too many uh words in it which to me it seems better when you do add words which goes back to like jazz without the singing of the piano or the guitar or the trumpet the horn or whatever it seems to have a a, a voice to me of its own I mean you know most most times it's, it's like it's like this with me uh. I could just like sit down and, and, and create a melody. And I create that melody, then I, I hear words to go with it. And I maybe write, like write the song. And then I also would say like, I hear other people's voice. I'm like, oh, this song would be perfect for this person or this music would be perfect for that person. So the impact that it has on me is, is it's just a remarkable thing. You know, sometimes I, I um, Sometimes I like trip out on myself, like when I hear stuff that I make, and I'm like, I come back like two days later and be like, how did I do that? You know what I mean? It's just like the impact of music, rock and roll, jazz, blues, hip hop, man. I mean, there's no music that I couldn't say that I don't like. You know what I mean? I, I love music, uh, period. I mean, from 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 reggae to uh, whatever, Chinese, Japanese music, whatever you have, I will listen to it. And uh, some music have, um, uh, impact on me that I don't understand the word that they saying, but I love it. And that would be mainly like the older Spanish, Spanish music, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a bad thing because I, I really miss performing live, uh, seeing other musicians performing with live musicians, blues. I could go on and say names right now, but on this one, I won't. It's a lot of musicians. And sometimes when I do interviews, they be like, well, you didn't mention me. Well, I'm not mentioning no one on this one, but the live performance of being on a stage which I was you know sort of new at compared to some of the uh, the other the other guys the other musicians and uh the impact is that I would have to actually like like he you know like he would say dig up old videos I'm listening to like CDs in my studio and old recordings of uh uh you know different blues artists and it's it's just it really it really bothers me not to be able to go see them or either be part of them performing live on stage. So the the, the, the COVID uh, virus, that's the impact of being at home. I think I had a little edge by having a studio at home and I was able to keep myself active with music, you know, uh, writing and putting tracks together in my own studio. But other than that, it's it's not good. The impact is not good as far as COVID and in, you know, like live music, live performances, going out to shows, being on tour, being on the road and all of that, you know what I mean? It's, it just put a halt on everything. Shows that was coming up got canceled, you know, performances, uh, engineering uh, gigs that I had to do for uh, events outside, all it just got shut down. And it, it really, it really, it really, it really bothered me a lot because I was at a point thinking like, like, uh, this is what we're going to have to do now. Just like listen to music or sneak out in somebody's bar or do something we had no business doing and taking a chance on catching COVID because to go perform live again is is what I was, you, you know, but safe before sorry, stay at home, keep your mask on, guys, six feet distance, and we'll get through this, though, you know, we'll get through it. Midnight Music Mix. <laughs>